gunpowder. There's actually a lot of gunpowder. And a machete. <gasps> we're taking that. Oh, boy, we're taking a machete. Oh, yes, yes, we are. Now, that's glo Katana as well. Let's go, boys. A machete and a katana. Now we're talking. Hey guys, I'm Kiriko. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are stealing all the food that we can find. <laughs> Look at that. I've emptied all of these. Actually got a lot of food. Now please tell me, what is Modjeska? Modjeska? Mod whatever this is. It's 10 hunger. And you can eat it. I've never heard of this thing before. I've not seen it in, uh, in the game either. So I have truly have no idea what this is. So, somebody tell me. Also, I have put this over here to just at least slightly block zombies for a second before they can get in here. But so far, it seems like this place is quite clear. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. Because I do plan on staying the night over here. Like, there is uh, there's no doubt about that. There is so much good stuff in this place, food-wise, that I want to stay here and I want to get it all. As much as it can fit into my car and bring back home because it's just it's just glorious and i think we can uh we have some marinara over here as well we can easily and safely spend the night uh spend the night at st upstairs like i think we can be safe because we can go into another office and a lot so i think i think that's fine we're gonna take this doorknob as well I don't i i think we have enough doorknobs back at home but still uh maybe i should sneak in here though so I don't get spotted. I'm just gonna take any food that we can find. Honey again. Oh, this is nice. Also, all the baseball bats, dude. We are talking. This is this is a gold mine. We're gonna be eating for days. You know what? Enjoy chips. There you go. You can enjoy chips. You haven't had chips in a while. Eat that. Why not? You know what? Vinegar, I'm not even gonna take. Ammo, I'm not even gonna take. We won't be able to bring all back, so... Gonna keep that in mind. Now, my main goal of this episode is to bring back that sofa that's upstairs, the pinball machine, and... You know what? We have enough salt. And the... What was the other one? There was one more thing. But whatever it was, I want all of those. <laughs> Also, I realized we can take the jars and the lids, and you can we can use that to make... Oh, this is already full, nice. Uh, we can put, like, cabbages into jars. Maybe we should try, but I don't think we need to. I don't think that's really something that's needed, because, you know, we have the refrigerator. We can stick everything inside. I'm guessing all of these are going to be rotten, though. I see worms already. Rotten cabbage. Oh, poor cabbage. Worm? We'll take. We always need worms. Yeah, all the vegetables here are gonna be rotten. Unfortunately. I mean, at some point we can get them back and get some more fertilizer, I guess. But that day is not today. That's fine. So we're gonna loot all of these. Get as much stuff as possible. Even worms. Yeah, get as much stuff as possible. And then... Uh, tomorrow we try to uh, get back to where we couldn't get yesterday because <laughs> that was a that was a crazy alarm that happened yesterday oh yes i did not expect it to be to be uh in there and to be honest in the end it didn't seem to be as bad i thought a lot more of the town's gonna show up but i guess they've been busy maybe it was rain as well that caused that not so many people showed up but uh Still, it was too much for us to deal with uh, one time. Ooh, shovels, you say? Interesting. Chocolate will definitely take, and popcorn and such. Definitely. But shovel we don't really need. Uh, clearly, this place... Oh, peanut butter. Clearly, this place is going to be a place that we can come back and loot a couple of times. Really. Needing needles. What can you do with these? Or a cyan light bulb. Cyan? Cyan? Cyan, right? I, I, to be honest, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. I'm, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. 
That's how it is. Alright. As we loot these, I think I'm gonna be time to bring all of this back to my car. Uh, did see something else there. Ramolade rotten. I don't know what that is, but it's rotten. And there was a... What was here? Come on, let me click on this. TV dinner. Oh, there's a zombie. Did you break the window? Or was the window already broken? I think the window was already broken. House key as well, huh? Oh, shit. Okay, you guys heard that, haven't you? It's fine. It's getting dark. She's tired. She has killed many zombies today. Many zombies have been killed. Oh, don't do that. No, shit. There's more coming. Where are you guys coming from? How dare you come over here, though? This is not your place. Okay. There's definitely one more that is nearby. I saw him down here. He was looking inside. Come on. Okay, he's he's back there. Alright, maybe we should stop looting over here. <laughs> She's getting tired, so... Come on. Please, just loot this one more. The flower. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go and bring all those back to the car. And then we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna sleep. Yeah, you can't already see anything in here. That's a bad idea. Do zombies see... This? Did they see this? I don't know if they do. I hope they don't, to be honest. So... Yeah. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> I'm not as sneaky as I could be when I'm holding a uh, a torch in my hand, really. Also, I don't know if you're going to be able to bring all the stuff that I wanted to bring back. Because we have filled us with so much food now. That it just... I don't know where it's going to all go. <laughs> uh, not that that's bad. But I have a feeling we might eventually have to come back here. To get our couch. Just the way I wanted that couch. And I think couch we can maybe get somewhere else close by. Right? In one of the houses nearby. We can probably get that same couch. Now, for the pinball machine though. That we definitely cannot get anywhere closer. So, that is definitely the one that we want to get. So, what I might do is install the couch upstairs and sleep on it. And tomorrow go for the pinball machine and the other thing. Okay, let's get inside. And hope that these zombies ignore my flashlight. Yeah, that's mm, I see you there. Okay. That's bad. That is bad. Just lead it out where we actually have light. Come outside. Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. You deal, though. Really. It shows that Samantha is tired. You know, it took quite a while to kill this one. Sometimes you gotta do something comfy. Let's see if you can place this chair or this thing somewhere. I don't know why we can't right now. Um, let's see, if I put this on the ground, maybe then we can. I'll see if I can do this. No. Okay, you know what? Grab both. This is gonna make us slightly over the top. There you go, okay. That's better. I guess because we had one in the backpack. That's fine. And this is where we're gonna sleep tonight. It is almost midnight. But it's how it is. This is where we sleep. This is where we rest. She is tired. She's peckish. But she's got a full car of food. And she's got this. Uh, we have at least one door between us and the zombies. A door that wouldn't really last for too long, but uh, it's still better than nothing. It seems like uh, the night has been calm. Good. She got through the whole night. Perfect. It doesn't look like there's any newcomers in here. That's fine. Uh, do you have any food on me? No. So she's gonna have to get some of that. Like, this definitely wasn't the best door. <laughs> <laughs> to stay safe. 
I want this as well. Oh man, we're gonna come back here and grab some stuff eventually. Maybe we'll really need to make a couple of trips. I was looking outside. Yeah, there's zombies. There's zombies everywhere. But I think uh, we're gonna still continue scavenging. All that honey and rice. Could you please put it in here? There you go. Now, I'm guessing all of these are gonna be mostly rotten. I've seen a bunch of recipes that require milk. I don't think we'll ever be able to make those, right? There's no other way to get milk in uh, in here. Like, there's no there's no cows to milk, so... Uh, <laughs> no yogurt for us as well. Okay, she needs to smoke. You know what? Smoke, and then we're gonna go check all these as well for some... Uh, for some more resources and bring all of them to the car. There's a whole candy package. Wow, that is beautiful. All the good stuff in the world. I don't think we'll ever be hungry again. I'm just uh, hopeful that those strawberries that we planted are not gonna go bad back at home. That I would be actually sad because those were growing for like, I don't know, over a month. If I had to get rid of those, because, you know, I didn't get back home in time. That would be unfortunate. But this is now all the food that I could have looted from this place. So at least we've got that. Very heavy load. Doesn't help anybody over here. Especially if uh, there's any zombies around. But otherwise, this was a gold mine. There is extreme amounts of uh, rotten meat in there still. That uh, eventually we can get back for. If, if it's true that, you know, you can... You can actually cook rotten stuff at some point. And uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to doing that one day. Maybe. Uh, that guy really wants to get killed, doesn't he? He's like, yep, I like this. Oh, our car is full, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not realize that's going to be the case. We actually filled our car with scrap machete. Just full of food. Are you kidding me? Like 74 kilos of food almost. Now that's amazing. That is just absolutely amazing. There you go. Almost 74 kilos. We can pop uh, a bit more in here. Let's put this in here. This can hold 8 kilos. Why not? Of shotgun shells and cookies and honey and... Uh, jars of apple jelly whatever that is exactly mustards and ketchups and peppers and maybe something else sunflower seeds not even that hot dog bun nope all right well we're quite full now <laughs> i mean i had a goal to get all this stuff back i don't think we will oh i wonder if you can take that sign that twiggy sign you can. Oh, dude, I want that now. I want the sign. I want my pinball machine. And I realize I won't be able to get all of this this time around. But, since we have like a full, full day ahead of us, I can go clear out these Zeds and bring out all the stuff that I want. Maybe put it out there on the... Maybe out there somewhere. And we can bring, we can come back for them. So I don't need to fight amongst the trees over here. Which is really dangerous now that I think of it. Because I'm going to get stuck behind a tree or somebody's going to sneak behind me. And that ain't going to help nobody. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this place as much as possible. So in the event that I can make it back here in a certain amount of time. Oh, how'd you get inside? How did you get inside, lady? Okay, that actually did kill her there. You see this I hate. This I do hate. This is what killed Barbara last time. A sneaky beaky dude like that. Uh, I cannot be cocky. We've survived two months and five days not being cocky. We've killed over a thousand zombies not being cocky. And you gotta know, she have killed all of these wearing a baseball bat or you know, throwing a baseball bat around. She didn't use a gun. Not a single one was killed by a gun or anything like that. Everything was melee. Every kill 
is up there. She is indeed. She has become death, destroyer of worlds. Oh, that's how they got in. All right, now I know. Samantha. She has become death, destroyer of worlds. Beautiful. Let's keep on smacking. Okay, so now that's the biggest area. You know what? That's not even that many there. We've dealt with more yesterday. Fill yourself with chips. Get your weight back up. You know, you you're getting skinny now. You know, you know, I don't like it skinny. You have to have some weight on you. Okay, that's we pulled a bit too much now. <laughs> that that is us getting cocky, and that's what gets you killed. Hmm. Just come around the corner, boys. Get stuck on the in the house. Come around the corner. All that stuff. One at a time would be perfect. Now we move. Now we move. There you go. This is my Twiggy sign that I want. Okay. Good kills there, bros. Good kills. One at a time, ladies and gentlemen. One at a time. I wouldn't want to deal with more. Just come in one, come one all, or something. I don't know what I'm saying now anymore. It's fine. Too many zombies. Oh, she's actually getting hot now. She's like, hell yeah. This is making me hot and sweaty. All these zeds. I think we have some in the tree still out here. Uh, would be surprised if there weren't any that any lost souls, as it were. But I guess not. You know what? That was better than I thought it's gonna go. It does really help her skills in the in the long blunt. Yeah, it it's it's huge, really. Okay, there's a bunch inside. I have broken through, so Twig is definitely not a very safe place anymore. But it still has got our pinball machine up there, so uh, we gotta go in there. And that place is the place that we actually came here for. That place. <laughs> so we still need to get there. Come on, you. Just just come over here. Let's, let's play. There you go. There you go. Okay, they're all turning heads now. That's not exactly amazing. But if you have to... Well, let's do this then, boys. You know, my original plan for these episodes was to do some uh, carpentry around the house. I guess the plans have changed significantly. I, I had no idea that we're gonna have so much stuff to do down here. That's fine, you know? You cannot always follow the plan that you want. Oh, they actually broke down the door there. What a bunch of dildos. And where were you hiding? That's not nice. Okay. There might be more in the trees. Gotta be always careful, really. And to be honest, our sledgehammer is in the car. So this does not help. Also, gotta be careful that there's nobody in here. I hear zombies. I don't know who I hear, where I hear them. They are around the house, it seems. Doesn't look like there's anybody inside, which is great. But at least we have some outside stuff. So that's fine. Alright. Okay, alright. They're coming around the house now. <laughs> I see you there. Where, where are you going, boys? I'm right here. She's got her sneak skills going. Although she's got, like, no sneak skills. Samantha's been overweight for so long, she can't sneak. But she can definitely swing that thing. What's her sneak skill? You know what? Getting up to level 2. Nimble also. You know what? She's, she's got some skills. Okay, there's a couple more over there. Now show me. Okay, nobody got in here, which is good. Which is good and nice. I guess what I can do, since I'm here, I can just clear this thing. Get all the guns and whatever I wanted to get out. And store them out there on the sidewalk. So, next time we come, we just drive by, pick it all up, and go back home. I think that might be smart. Because we still do have to get those strawberries back at home. I wouldn't want those to go to waste. 
job. All right, all right, all of you. One at a time, please. One at a time. This is not one at a time. All right, better though. I gotta admit, throughout this series, I have become more confident at fighting zombies. 100%. But, uh, you know, when you get confident, when you get cocky, that's where you get yourself killed. That's That has been the truth. Look. I've killed over 100 zombies since coming over here yesterday. That must mean something. Man, that's just a scrap ship. Yeah, I wish we could take these lamps back home. Because there's a lot out in the trees. They're probably gonna hear us trying to destroy stuff over here. And to be honest, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go back for the sledgehammer though, it's in the car. This looks very post-apocalyptic now. Just bodies everywhere around, doors are broken, the flies are buzzing because of so many corpses. Glorious. And then there's Samantha, just striding amongst them all. Doing her thing. <laughs> Oh, you glorious. Glorious Samantha. Let's destroy this thing. I hope nobody hears us doing this, though. They probably will. Because it's kind of loud, isn't it? Okay. Uh, go out now. Stop destroying stuff. Look if there anybody is coming. Also, I have indeed stolen that Twiggy... Uh, twiggy thing. The Twiggy sign. So we got that now. We can bring back home. Okay, doesn't look like anybody has heard, which is fine. Uh, so we'll go inside and we're gonna see what is actually in here. Because this is supposedly a gun shop, you know? Next to a bar, a gun shop, that's so American. Let's see, magazines, cooking stuff. Do we know this one? Already read, yes. I think I have read all of them, I'm not sure. Expert farming, I think we have all the farming books that we need. Uh, electronics, anglers, yep, we read those. Gunpowder, interesting. So there's ammo, there's a rifle, walkie talkie, more 308s. Oh, that's for that rifle, interesting. Definitely gonna start with dismantling a radio. Oh, look at that, the green light bulb. That is the one we want and need. So for now, I'm not actually going to be taking anything over here, because, you know, we just are carrying already way too much. So, can't really do that. Check the toilets. There's definitely something good in the toilets, usually. That's not a toilet, though. Alright. Scopes. Ooh. Nice. That's for different rifles. Shotgun shells. Ammo straps. It's a weapon attachment. More pistols, more radios to dismantle for us. Maybe green light bulbs? No such luck. But that's fine. And walkie talkie as well. Don't need none of that. Oh, that one is a green one. Look at that. So that's my goal to put uh, all the lights outside be green. Well, inside as well, really. My whole house is gonna be just green lights. Perfect. More. Gunpowder, there's actually a lot of gunpowder and a machete. <gasps> we're taking that. Oh boy, we're taking a machete. Oh yes, yes we are. Now that's katana as well. Let's go, boys. A machete and a katana. Now we're talking. There's an axe over here as well. You can't already carry any of this, so I'm gonna leave it be for now. Shooting goggles, what did this do? Yeah. Let's put those on. Who needs reading glasses when you can have shooting goggles? 100%. There's more axes, more slings, all that stuff. More gunpowder. More ammo. This is, uh... This is a lot of good stuff down here. 100%. So... <laughs> I'm guessing katana and machete are gonna be blade. Which you don't actually have any skill in. But... Yeah, no. Maybe it's time we start uh, using it and learning, because that's a lot of damage. You know what? Let's try this katana out for a swing. Let's see, what's our... Long blade skill is almost level 1. Almost, but not quite. And I'm guessing this is long blade. Okay, there's a lady coming. Yeah, let's try this out. I mean, if it's... It does a lot of damage. 
Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, I think we're gonna have fun out here with this bad boy. I'm worried that we're gonna break it. Also, I'm worried that I'm gonna get myself killed out here. Really? This is all just one shot, one kills? Is that how it is? Is that how potent the katana is? Is this the walking dead now? That lady? Uh, Michonne, I think, is it? I, I've not watched that show in a couple of years, uh, to be honest. After they met the, the new bad guy, who was really annoying, I kind of stopped watching because, you know, kind of annoyed me. Because uh, everything was like, yeah, nobody cares about zombies anymore. Zombies really are not important in this, in this whole thing. Everybody just cares who kills more people. Which person kills more people, you know, so I stopped watching. Anyway, I think we go home. And I think then, as we go home, we come back as soon as possible. Uh, we come back in the morning, really. And we do more of this. I think so. I think that's the goal. We bring back the stuff that we wanted from Twiggies. And we bring back all the guns and ammo and stuff that's over here. We have cleared so many zombies out of here now that this shouldn't be that hard. Also, if you've seen the last Thursdoid, uh, they've been talking about adding towing to the game. Uh, it's right now it's actually a mod, but they've been adding. Uh, they've been saying that they will potentially add it to the game. So, you know that'd be amazing because I could just go and tow all these cars back home and you know work on them as a main man mechanic. I think that would be kind of cool. But in any case, now it's time to go home. We are carrying a lot. It's all good. Let's go, my trusty car. Let's try not to, I don't know, break as we go back home. This was a glorious adventure, and I'm just glad we're alive. And it's not done. We're coming back. I feel sorry for my car. We used it so much, it's gonna get itself broken now. With uh, all these zombie hits that just come with the way that we've been doing this. Because the roads are so full. And also, you know, hitting a car like that, that, that was stupid. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's not in the best condition. Now let's take a look around, see how our base is. I've seen quite a lot of zombies on uh, their way up here, so... Just hope our base is clean for now. Backside for now looks nice. Oh, look, we can see the sign over here. There's a corpse just chilling on the ground. I wonder what happened to it. I wonder who happened to it. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is looking pretty good and safe for now. How are we looking down here? Looking good. Alright. Nobody has come knocking right now. You know what? Eat some raspberry shortbread. That actually does sound pretty good. And delicious. So I think it's uh, just proper that you do it. And now all we have to do is go store all of our stuff. There's going to be a lot of storing. 100%. And then in the morning, we come back and... Uh, I think we drive back down there and uh, we get all the rest of the stuff that we wanted to get. Uh, also, the strawberries. We need to uh, we need to get those. Okay, it's time to harvest the strawberries. Let's see what we get out of that. 33 strawberry seeds and 11 fresh strawberries. Oh, that's nice. You actually get... They even stay over here? Oh, that's really nice because everything I have harvested so far... It got, you know, destroyed. Yeah, the strawberries are nice. I like them. Very good. How's that working for our skills over here? Uh, we're not gonna get up to level 6. Nowhere near. But, you know, it's getting us some points. Yeah, it's like 100 for each. Okay, and that's 126 strawberry uh, seeds. And 42 fresh strawberries. Oh, isn't that delicious? I'm gonna put those in the freezer, I think. Store, please, store all the seeds over here for now. Okay, and the strawberries can go next to the radishes over here in the fridge. Or in the freezer. Freezer, let's go, perfect. Now time to bring all that extra food and stuff back inside. Well, now we have 49 kilos of food over here. 48 kilos of food over here. And 49 kilos of food over here. 150 kilos of food. If not counting all the fresh foods that we have. Now that is beautiful. <laughs> I am actually very happy. 
Also, I've seen we can make pie dough. I actually want to see if we can make pie. And what can you actually do with the pie dough? Uh, let's put the butter back inside. So now, the pie dough. Place pie in the baking pan. We're gonna need a rolling pin. Okay. Okay. I don't think we have a rolling pin. Ain't that unfortunate. Out of everything that we're missing is a rolling pin. You know what? This pie dough could go bad, potentially. I don't know how it is, actually. So I'm gonna put it uh, in here with these things. Oh, we have some more stuff, actually. Never mind. Uh, where can we put this pasta? Pasta can go in here. Put the salt in here. All right. Oh, finally brought all the food from the car. That doesn't mean that I brought everything, but I brought all the food at least. So, and we have a goal to make pie dough. So don't don't forget about that. That goal still remains. We're gonna need a rolling pin though. And I know I've seen one at the market. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times before, but hey, actually I have forgotten. Take some more stuff out of here. By the way, we have Twiggies out here now. If you if you miss that one. Yeah, there's some more stuff over here. <laughs> more food. Never mind. I don't know where we're gonna put all of this. It's gonna be somewhere. And all of this as well. Door hinges and nails and such. Okay, now the car is finally empty of stuff. Oh, glorious. I'm gonna be happy to go back there tomorrow in the morning. Uh, why is the light not on over here? Did I turn it off? What happened to the light bulb? What? I guess the light bulb died over here? Huh. Interesting. That's, that's kind of weird. But okay. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna take the seeds out. And we're gonna put the seeds out there somewhere. And this is gonna be another food storage area, because... As you can see, we, we have we have a lot of food now. Uh, not that I'm complaining. It's just gotta store it somewhere, right? It's another snowy morning, it seems. And we are on a quest. I'm actually not gonna drive down to Twiggies right now. I've decided not to. We're gonna do that in a fresh episode, because I've realized I'm already like over 50 minutes into recording of this, so... It probably would be too much if I went back there, because it's gonna take us a while, I'm guessing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop into the neighborhood and see if I can find a rolling pin so we can make that pie. I wanna see if we can make a pie. That would be quite a crowning achievement, to be honest. We've killed almost 1,100 zombies now. Our cooking skill is getting out there. So making a pie shouldn't be that tough for uh, Samantha, should it? I know she can definitely make a good pie. Now we gotta have to be careful out here, cause uh, look at that, we already have neighbors. Hello, how did you hear me? Did you hear me climb? Is that loud? Is that supposedly loud? I don't know. I guess I should've taken the katana to level that skill up a bit more, but you know what? This is also fine. I can accept this. Oh, we have stolen uh, a window over here, so... You gotta be careful if there's anybody inside. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, that's not where the rolling pin's gonna be. Shouldn't be hard to find. Like, seriously. Shouldn't be hard to find? I guess it is. You know what? Since we are here, I'm gonna take this uh, rotten stuff. And... Uh... Ooh, melted ice cream. I never looted that. Interesting. And we can bring these back home for more fertilizer. Oh boy. These people are bad neighbors. They just hang out there and nobody has a freaking rolling pin. I don't know what to say, really, boys. It's uh, it's kind of sad. I would hope this was a bad, a good neighborhood, but it seems like it's bad. All there is is rotten food and no rolling pins. I want to bet there's rolling pins. They just don't want to give it to me, you know? They just don't want to let me borrow it. Or well, just borrow it for a day. Just want to make one pie. I mean, that's all. Also, there's some couches that we can steal from over here. It's, uh, this is gonna be good to remember. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's a horde. You guys chill there. Oh, we have a crawler? Excuse me? Did I hit you with a car or something like that at some point? 
I'm sorry, that's something we're gonna have to fix. Truly. Can't have none of that. Freaking crawlers, man. I do hate those. Alright. Better? Better. Now, at least I hope you guys had a rolling pin. Really, it's like a, such a trivial item, you never really go for it. <laughs> and now I'm like, please, rolling pins? Garden saw. No, 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 no. Toolbox. Garden saw. Oh, I guess you are one of those, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, you know what? At least I can disassemble this this thingy. How are we doing on uh, electrical? Actually, pretty bad. Not getting anywhere with those skills, are we? Yeah. It's kind of crap. Not even uh, any good stuff out of it. And by good stuff, you know what I mean. I mean the uh, light bulb, the green one. Okay, rotten pizza. I mean, pizza is pizza. Never throw it away. Ladies, hello. How do you do? What are you doing over here? Uh, I mean, welcome to the neighborhood, but uh, I'll have you. I'll have you know this neighborhood has no rolling pins. And that's what we want and desire right now, so... Sir... What are you, what are you doing out here, sir? These guys are... Cruel. They have ruined this whole house. I hear them walking out on the... On the glass. Shattered it all. I guess I haven't been in this house, really? I mean, it's got the... It's got locked doors, so... Huh. Who knows, maybe there's treasure inside still. I don't know, I'm gonna let him bang around. I'm gonna go check these last two. And they, if there's no rolling pin, well, there's no rolling pin. Okay, where are you guys coming from? What do you have in your head? It's probably some kind of a scrap machete, isn't it? Uh, no, that's actually a true machete. Oh boy, we want that one. That's our second machete in like two days. Oh boy. Machetes are great. And not very common. So, hell yeah. <laughs> we want that. I mean, scrap machetes are cool and all, but... This is an actual machete. Okay, you know what? This trip at least was worth the machete. If we can't even get the freaking rolling pin. You know, these houses that have been so destroyed. Yeah, looks like it's just gonna be a no-no. Ooh. There's some stuff still. Should look at that. Guess I haven't looted this whole thing. More rotten bread, why not? Yup. All the rotten food. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, no rolling pin for us. I hear a zombie nearby. Wherever you are, dude, have fun, bro. Oh, there's some down there. Yeah, no. No rolling pin. So we're gonna finish the episode over here. I do hope you enjoyed this one. We had some uh, some fun, I gotta say. We had some fun dealing with uh, all the Zeds down there. And uh, we'll return. We have some stuff that we haven't finished there at Twiggis. And we have a lot of guns if you wanted that at some point. So we shall return down there. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Go crowd.